because I'm oh shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, INFP Eat them ENFJ You can eat them ISTJ Yeah, I ate them ESTJ You better eat them Extroverts, eat them Introverts, eat them Judgers, perceivers, feelers I eat them Myers Ate them Briggs I ate motherfucking Carl Jung! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mountain lions? Eat them. I'm an INTP, yeah! Incredible boot. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That's the one that Boot shared with me. Uh, so it was fun nice. to get to share that with everyone. Oh, Hello, and Hello. welcome to the extra credit block of Garbage Day. This is hour 15. We've got me, Shell Game, who will be hosting this whole block. Lesbiathan, who will be here with me also for this whole block. Uh, and for this hour, we have Dr. A, Positronic, yeah. Dijon du Jour, and Positive Stress. Moxie is still on the arts, and it's going to go great. Everything's going to go great. Yay. 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 Um, we have uh, quite a lot of, uh, we actually have quite a lot of insane people, too, that I want to make sure that we get a chance. Uh, we get everybody, uh, we get a chance for everybody to uh, have their have their offerings, have their offerings brought up, uh, have their offerings brought up to be available for you guys. Um, I think what I'm going to start out with is, let's see here, uh, right. So uh, for this next hour, Positronic's going to be, and next hour Pos she will be drawing. I am going to, uh, Positronic has uh, generously offered some cicada wing necklace pendants. If you would like, these are going to, and stay up the whole time but uh i want to i want to be able to highlight uh as many as i can uh the are uh she uh, uh Pastronic, do you have anything to say about them um i think i have three different colors of metal which you can see in the picture so if you have any special requests feel free to so they won't be the ones in the picture but i've got all the stuff to make them <laughs> uh the wings are ethically sourced because I'm pretty sure the cicadas were eaten by bats. Jeez. So <laughs> great, very good. Uh, I'm also good going when to be bats get to eat. <laughs> I'm also going to be putting up uh, the in uh, an incentive. Doctor A here, a bit of a mus musical buff, is as promised. She's going to make you some mix CDs. Uh, there, we got ten of those. So I'll leave those up all night too. So. Uh yeah. Uh go ahead, uh let's see let's get those incentives uh rolling. But for now we're going to start our first document, which is the Vor MBTI, the Vor Myers Briggs uh typing index. This is a document by Mix, of course. And uh really we're going to describe the various archetypes for uh predators, prey, willing. And pray unwilling. What? Oh. I think the first, big question is going to be, am I going to come away from this knowing what this means? <laughs> no. So, uh, but first we do, we should just get started with the characters. So we know how, what they're talking about when we talk about them. Uh, stress. Uh-huh. Would you please tell us uh, the first, the first, uh, the first opposition. Individual versus shared. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm immediately seeing that I misunderstood. Okay, great. Uh, individual versus shared. Individual, I, characters generally don't put, put much thought toward their partner and their partner's feelings, nor would they put much effort into making the experience enjoyable for their partner. Oh, my God. Oh. 
<laughs> Individual characters aren't necessarily averse to taking it slow and having a little fun beforehand, but in the end, they're in it to please themselves. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, in the case of unwilling prey, individual means they could care less about what their predator wants. They just want to escape and not have to experience it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Fine. Whatever. Willing prey would seek to satisfy their own fantasy, regardless of their predator's orientation. Mm-hmm. Oh, did we say this is by mix? I don't remember. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks, Mix. Shared S characters can only truly enjoy themselves if their partner is enjoying themselves as well. <laughs> Just checking in while you're eating. Is this is this good? Yeah. Do you like <laughs> Just mid swallow being like, are you enjoying this too? You need anything? <laughs> <laughs> Though they still seek to achieve their own goals. They do I'm so not- with respect to their partner's wishes. Aww. Mm-hmm. What? They're, they're sharing. They share the. They share the vor. Do you want a piece of you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shared predators. Yes. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Shared predators prefer to eat only willing prey, or maybe coax the prey into mm-hmm. sliding down their gullet. Semicolon. Because they want and to share the experience. Yeah, by, like, in the event to be a that slide or something. Family <laughs> style. In the event that they do devour unwilling prey, perhaps out of absolute need, they feel remorseful <laughs> about it, <laughs> genuinely valuing their prey's emotions. Oh, um, thank they, you. They, they lose thir- they learn they lose thirty sanity to that. <laughs> <laughs> it means a lot yeah. to me that you don't like that you're eating me. <laughs> Ethically sourced prey. <laughs> um, uh all right well there's another uh dyad of 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 a okay. personality because because like like myers briggs this has four different uh Jesus this has four different Christ. descriptors in each type visceral versus emotional visceral characters now visceral characters do what they do because they need it or it simply makes sense predators with a visceral leaning are driven by their raw hunger or their physical desire to partake in the act, or simply for the need to fuel their body. I gotta say, makes sense is a is a strong phrase for any of no, this. It's, just, it's it's like it, deep down, you like you get it. You know, you're like, mm, yeah, okay. You know what? I I need to eat somebody right <laughs> now. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Visceral prey, when willing, are much the same. They want to be eaten because it feels good. They enjoy the experience physically. Unwilling visceral prey are motivated purely by their will to survive or their fear of the pain and or discomfort of being trapped inside a predator. Like a weirdo or something. <laughs> now, but now the oppo- opposite of visceral obviously is emotional. And emotional characters tend to focus on the deeper implications behind the whole process of war. <laughs> what? The deep war like, lore. What's really going on here? Yeah. Like, war is therapy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, eating your feelings. What <laughs> is it to become a bolus? Emotional predators do what they do because they enjoy the relationship with their prey. Be it what? one of affection or domination, or because they enjoy the thought of holding another being inside themselves and or turning their prey into a part of their own body. See, this is all emotional. How is none of these letters predator slash prey? This doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, Because because there were that's way too many dimensions. And they that's why the rest of the document lit to predator, prey willing and prey unwilling. The equivocation of all of this, like, it's the same whether you're a predator, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, wait, yeah, no, it, does. it, does. it simply it does. makes sense. No, 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 it does. Look, uh, we, uh, we may have let this out, but uh, the Vorsonality tab is available at tastytales.github.io. No. Vorsonality no. is all Vorsonality? Vorsonality. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, now, okay, they might enjoy it when their prey begs or struggles 
visceral predator would likely see such things as a nuisance, something keeping them from their food. Emotional willing prey function much the same way, enjoying the act because it fulfills their desire to be dominated or to be intimate with their predator or to be very intimate with their predator. Mm -hmm. Whichever. <laughs> I.e. digested. It's very intimate to be turned into poop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emotional unwilling prey want to escape for those very reasons. Not for the fear of the physical sensations, but rather the implications of being subjugated in such a way and potentially not getting to continue with their own life. Mm -hmm. Aww. Uh, cool. <laughs> Great. Oh, oh, it's me. Active versus passive. Wow. Ooh, All right. Ooh. Active characters go out of their way, way to make things happen, putting in real effort to achieve their desires. The significance of this trait is. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nice and nice. I'm actively getting attacked by Umbop. All right. The significance of the trait in predators is simple enough. Active predators are the type who hunt regularly or commonly seek out, <laughs> seek out for opportunities. Once they have their prey, active predators will likely get right to the point and also probably won't be afraid to apply a little force to get what they want. Ooh. Active predators. The active prey uh, will, of course, actively resist or struggle against their predator. Or, in willing cases, intentionally seek out or encourage a prey <laughs> to make a meal out of them. Someone <laughs> please come eat me! Please, please, now! You definitely need to get in your tum-tum. <laughs> just, just laying on a silver platter, putting an apple in my mouth. It's like, Ooh. Please, I don't want to go to work! <laughs> really good. Uh, passive characters generally go with the flow of things more often being drawn into, into situations than creating them, like in a sitcom. Uh, you know, this is really I mean, starting to piss me off. I feel like if you were going to do Myers-Briggs bullshit, I feel like this is a really badly implemented version of it that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> well, I, uh, okay, like, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, everybody, everybody here, everybody at home, I do need to apologize publicly to Positive oh. Stress. Positive Stress feels that there's a great deal of integrity and honor in the Myers-Briggs Index. And no. this is honestly, this is this was honestly, it was terrible of me to do this to him. And stress, I am sorry. No, you're right. This actually is a perfect fit for Myers-Briggs. I take it back. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, passive predators are more inclined to wait and watch potential prey go by rather than simply grabbing one. Perhaps coming up with a detailed plan to claim their price, that's not really passive. Or the wearing play close enough uh, using their appealing body. <laughs> just, you just lure him with your body. Um, just laying down with your mouth open and be like, oh, I would suck if someone were just crawling my mouth. Like, oh. How is that? That sounds like it would be acted. Oh my god. Mm, it didn't yeah. taste you there. Yeah. Uh, passive predators can also simply not see themselves as predators or try to resist their hunger when they're around prey, often failing to do so when the temptation becomes too much. Passive prey, naturally, tends to submit to one, uh, submit once the predator has them within their grasp, giving it, giving in for a host of possible reasons ranging from subservience to desire to sexual thrill. Oh my god. Willing types will happily subject themselves to their predator's whims, serving the role of toy or food with few objections. Unwilling passive types tend to be more defeatist in nature, giving up struggling once they realize it's hopeless. <laughs> while active types tend to struggle on and on, regardless of how hopeless it is for them. On and on! I, I, I get it now. I get why this finish is hot. <laughs> Good. Glad and our next incentive for a hundred dollars, you can choose who gets eaten at the end of this. <laughs> oh, actually, you do bring up a good point. Hey, thank you for. I have the... I do have a goal for everybody here tonight. We're going to be running a fun little thing with the lesbian. Uh, uh, let's see here. What? This is the first time hearing of this. <laughs> no, it's not. I've said it to you like four times. <laughs> I don't pay attention to things you say. You know. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, uh, we will be reaching a point in tonight where we are reading a we are reading uh video mm -hmm. game poetry. But for Julia, mm -hmm. 
I want us to try to raise fifty dollars no. uh, to make Julia no. have to read a poem called "The no. uh, Geek Sonnets." She will read no. Geek Sonnet Number One next hour if we make it to fifty. Okay, uh, sorry to interrupt though, Doctor A. Will you uh, please sexual versus sensual? Oh yes, sexual versus sensual, and, and just like I think it's intuition where they use the N instead of I. Uh, they're mm-hmm. using the X and N here. Um, so, sexual characters. Devore as an act of temptation. Spouting. Spouting from lust. Generally, any sexual character would be hard-pressed to resist becoming aroused if they happen to be drawn into a war scenario. Not into a war scenario? What does that mean? <laughs> Sexual predators seek out food to satisfy their carnal urges in tandem with any other motivations, including hunger, the mm. er- desire to dominate, and or to put some extra weight on, weight on their hips. We gotta get the nice, gotta get the nice hips! Yeah. Oh, we met the uh, goal. That's interesting. Just okay, good job, everybody! Ooh, nice. Just huh? seeing somebody and be like, damn, this is going to go to my hips, but being, like, really into that. Ooh, this is going to go to my <laughs> hips. Oh, my God. Oh, and, and thank you uh, to uh, everybody who came in to say, thank, uh, have fun, Julia, or I want to see Julia get mad. Uh, now, no. It's the Lubris Rex, Positive Stress, Achilles Heelys, you will get your wish. Yay. Uh, Dr. Please uh, continue. Yeah. Sexual prey enjoy this experience similarly, taking pleasure in being their predator's meal, plaything, or body fuel, regardless of whether they do so willingly or unwillingly. It sounds like they would be willingly if you're like, yeah, or whatever. You're getting pleasure from it, but you're like not happy about it. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, oh yeah. This I terrible. think that's called being a Sundari. Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> we can't bring Not more like bullshit me this than there already is. It's <laughs> not like I like being a fuel or anything, but babaka. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have sensual characters. Yes. Oh my God. Sensual characters see Vor as an act of plain pleasure, satisfaction, or perhaps pure hunger. They do not mm, associate. Sensual. With- <laughs> they do not associate the sexual element with it directly like sexual types do although Christ. this doesn't mean they can't still have a sexually involved vor experience now and then oh, okay, are, they, are they see a <laughs> sexual <laughs> vor Involved vor experience. I mean, unless they're the prey, in which case they will have one vor experience, and that'll be it. <laughs> Sensual predators can have all sorts of motivations, depending on their other personality aspects. But generally, they do vor for food, satisfaction, bonding, or fun. And not just as an act of lust in and of itself. Okay, but this is a fetish, and you're wrong, and you're lying. No, it's but sometimes sensual... it's actually just about it's okay. just it's just an aesthetic. God, I'm so hungry. I need to role play eating someone. <laughs> yeah, but sensual prey likewise enjoy the experience without the need for eroticism, or perhaps they're just some unfortunate, unwilling prey type. One that's pure enough to not take guilty pleasure in being devoured. As. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Where do you think Dagwood falls on this, uh. <laughs> this spectrum? The purity of a Vore pervert. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to go down. Okay, we're starting here at Predator now. Like, okay. this is the subtype of all of these for Predator. First, though, we're going to read some questions that a quiz taker would take 
if they were a predator hoping to be typed? Holy uh, Hannah, that's a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, there are 40 questions here, and we're going well, I mean, to read them I mean, it's defining your turn. whole personality. Of course it's a lot of questions. We're going to read them in turn. Uh, so now. it will go, I'll start. Uh, Julia, you follow. Stress, Dr. A, Dijon, Positronic, and then we'll come back to me. Okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Question one. The feelings of my prey matter little to me. Oh, sure, Pat. Um, my prey should be content that I have deemed them worthy of being my food. <laughs> if I take my time with my prey, it is entirely for my own satisfaction. Struggling prey need to learn their place. Uh. The place being my stomach. <laughs> Prey who shout about how they don't want to be eaten are only prove they deserve to be. Something. Oh, that's a sentence. <laughs> I would stop devouring my prey if they were uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, 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 don't worry, you're, you're partially digested, but I'll let you out. Sorry, you said you didn't like that? Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's why we have the safe word. Yeah, hold on a second. Gross. Uh, <clears throat> I listen to what my prey wants and try to satisfy both their needs and my own. <laughs> oh, gosh. I prefer my prey to be willing. If they're not, I might tempt them into it, don't you know? Oh. I try to find ways to make my prey feel comfortable with the process. I would not. I would feel regret if I digested an unwilling prey. I feel like I'm going to get my Fallout tag skills at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> I need primarily to satisfy my hunger. Hmm. I'm often too distracted by the feeling of my prey's muffled voice to understand what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking on the stomach from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which one? Oh, there it is. Uh, <clears throat> 13. In the end, food is food. I mean, I guess. Oh, well, I couldn't hold a conversation with my future prey. I've been too busy thinking about how, about how good they, they'll feel sliding down my gullet. gullet. <laughs> Devouring prey makes me feel stronger. Yeah. Swallowing prey isn't as satisfying if I don't get a reaction out of them. You're not making this fun for me. <laughs> I'm doing all the work. Quick, before you go into my stomach, take this camera and film your reaction. Vlogging. <laughs> 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 I got bored. <laughs> I got bored today, parentheses. I don't know. On sex or something. Life hacks. <laughs> TikTok voice. I got <laughs> bored today. <laughs> um, I like the idea of holding someone else inside me more than how my prey might taste or feel. Gross. That's gross. You should feel bad about that. I never forget that my prey are thinking, feeling beings. Daughter. <laughs> I have fond memories. All the prey I've eaten before. <laughs> this, this person heard the um, um, Dio's line of, do you remember every bread you ate? And you're like, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> Bring me out the scrapbook. Yeah, we got the scrapbook. All of the like sensitive ones just feel like people on Twitter who are like, they really want you to know that they perform cunnilingus. <laughs> Way to make it weird. <laughs> All right. I especially enjoy eating people I'm close to. Well, yeah, <laughs> if they were far away, you couldn't eat them. They have to be melee range for people. <laughs> <laughs> I often go on the hunt for prey, be it in the wilds or in public. Don't like that. <laughs> oh, this is in this public. Is this is not a good line. Um, what? <laughs> if my prey didn't want to be eaten, they should have have tried. Is uh, 
They should have tried escaping harder. Yeah. They should have been assaulting Wings. Disagree. Yeah. Uh, when I see someone a tasty, I immediately start thinking of ways to go about devouring them. <laughs> I'm not afraid to get rough with my prey if I need to. <laughs> oh. I enjoy the thrill of the chase. Uh, I wait for prey to come to me, rather than seeking them out, like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm like a trapdoor spider. I'm a blue whale. <laughs> Just hold my mouth open and see what shows up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> passive visceral. <laughs> oh no, we're typing real animals. <laughs> Uh, I love meeting potential prey for a drink and a chat before the main course. An aperitif. Um, I, I get I get nervous about expressing my desire to eat someone. Um, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm just a soft little predator over here. <laughs> Ew. Just awkwardly Is passing notes. Would, would, like, would it be okay? Do you want me to eat you? <laughs> what? Circle one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I prefer when my prey makes the first move. <laughs> yeah, you wait just... until they run for it and then you chase. <laughs> Again, just a blue whale with its mouth open. Yep. I just, I just like it when they when they pull out the winch and just like put it in my mouth. I get opened. I get flustered at the thought of having a full belly. Oh, Christ. heavens! The feeling of a prey disappearing into my gut arouses me. Mm-mm. I'll sometimes grind against my squirming gut after eating a prey. Oh, oh. God! You're welcome. Uh. I mean, this is this one's just weird. I continue to tease my prey long after they're gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. it, it's been five years. You have to let them go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you're poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the wait for my prey to be added to my more seductive assets. Well, I don't think that's your choice. <laughs> I hate it when I eat someone and their wake is added to my earlobe. <laughs> uh, I eat prey because it's sexy. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. That's maybe not for you, but no. it is. I eat prey because it's not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> True. Holding prey in my stomach is deeply comforting. <laughs> Sometimes. I caress my belly for hours, thinking of the prey inside. Uh, I love falling into a food coma after eating prey. Gun to my fucking head. (laughs) Turns my chair around. Vor doesn't need to be sexually arousing to be an enjoyable experience. (laughs) Oh. Uh, (laughs) Do you know who Vord without getting a... Right. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Alright, everyone, now it's time to stick. Our god is a mighty god. (laughs) <laughs> god is a hungry god um, I eat prey because it's fun Aww. Yay <laughs> Woo! Alright now everyone in the chat If you want to post your results And let us know what your type <laughs> yeah. is Yeah um, and while you're doing that Personality type ex- Going to rock through some of them uh, yeah. Hey Positronic Oh yes. thank god uh, do you want to read I-V-A-X, the ravenous, or I-V-A-N, the apex predator? I think I'll, I'll do Ivan. All right, let's read <laughs> Ivan. All right. You're all mine now, little snack. You are an alpha predator. Filling your gut is all that matters to you, and there are plenty of tasty prey in the world to fill it with. You hunt them actively. Pursuing prey for the sole purpose of feeding your insatiable hunger. They may kick and struggle, but being top of the food chain, you will always win in the end. The Ivan Predator tends to be detached from the feeling of their prey. They could eat just about anyone and enjoy it about the same so long as they were delicious. (laughs) 
hate it when uh, I eat someone and they're not even delicious. Well, this is a fucking waste of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dijon. Mm-hmm. Do you want to read IVPX the Siren or IVPN the Spider? Uh, well, uh, I, I I already have a VPN because I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Um, so uh, I think I want to be a Siren. Nice. Uh, IVPX. Uh, come now. Wouldn't you love to be a part of this beautiful form? Ooh. I would not. Unlike my IVP and counterparts, IVPX predators consider appraised looks before they decide on making them a meal. That's what determines where the weight goes. <laughs> You'll make some luscious tits. <laughs> you you must prefer a meal to be cute or attractive. That only makes them taste better in ways you can't put your finger on, but you can put your tongue on. Mm. On the other hand, you may just be making sure that only the highest quality of prey go into your body. Knowing that after they're digested, your curves be all the more noticeable for it. Mm. You know, I praise yeah. dental records first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lesviathan. Yeah. I-E-A-X, the bully, or I-E-A-N, the seeker? I want to read I-N, the seeker? Got it. Go for it. All right. Struggle all you want, and we'll change things between us. I and predators <laughs> have their reasons for eating each other. Whether they're filling their, be- filling their bellies with people who have wronged them... <laughs> <laughs> this is giving Western. me that parking ticket. <laughs> little Wild West justice, huh? All right, or whether doing so makes them feel superior, the secret archetype uses vor as a means to an emotional end, feeding not only their hunger but their emotional needs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I come from a broken home and I need to take my advice out somewhere. I had a really bad day today. I just need to eat someone. I'm a stress your amount of olives. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Dr. A, uh, do you want to read IEPX the Temptress or IEPN the Trapper? Um, I want the Temptress. All right. Tempt okay. away. Yeah. I'll give you the ride of your life. Happens to end in a long slide to my stomach. Uh, <laughs> the temptress can often be found in public, simply waiting for prey to notice them. They wink and slip away from the crowd, guiding they prey into a quiet area where they can get to know each other. I'm sorry, my bad. To get to know each other better, both emotionally and physically. That a- IEPN predator enjoys playing games with their prey, luring them into a night of passion. <laughs> at least for for them, <laughs> and devouring them when they least expect it. Hey, the seductive giddy, nature I'm here often. <laughs> I feel like this one should be but called wait, it says, Mantis." It says, "I'll give you the ride of your life," which happens to end in a long slide to my stomach. If they're not fucking expecting it after that, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Their seductive nature makes them hard to resist for most. Though being passive, they tend to wait for their prey to come to them instead. I I don't mean to sound too smug. I think I could resist it just fine. Thank you. (laughs) Well, stress. All right. Well, then do you want to read S-V-A-X, the host, or S-V-A-N, the companion? Uh, let's go Sfax. All right. Let's go Sfax. I want you to be comfortable with this. Sfax predators like to make their prey feel comfortable before the main event, outlining clearly what is about to happen to them. (laughs) Just like giving them forms. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen first is I'm going to put you on a big platter with an apple in your mouth. (laughs) I'm going to tuck a Uh big napkin uh into my collar. Oh, okay. What color? Uh, It's going to be a classy red napkin. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. They explain their hunger and their desire to be filled and how good it will feel for both them and their prey. 
Aww. Oh, Moxie's art right now is really fucking good. Oh, yeah, I'm, very, I'm a big fan of the phrase, <laughs> eat me like one of your french fries. <laughs> <laughs> their passion is infectious, often convincing even the most unwilling prey of their arousal at <laughs> the mean, prospect of the host. <laughs> the host of the most. <laughs> the host can use their skills to trick prey, but most would rather that their prey be as satisfied with the outcome as they are. <laughs> I love dying. Thanks. <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, I mean, it might be soft for in that case. It might be like, oh, cool. I get to live in your stomach forever. Soft uh, a real thing. Uh, hey, Positronic. Yes. What? Which one should I read? SVPX Ooh. the lustful or SVPN the tempted? I think I want to hear the lustful. Mm, yeah, you do. I'm Svix, the lustful. Mm, sex is great, but have you tried getting devoured? Um, <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Wild nights of frisky passion usually end with a full belly for the SVPX. They can sometimes lose themselves in the moment, wanting to feel their partners deeper than they can possibly go. What? That they mean? may use. I'm going to digest you until you're in another stomach that I don't even have. <laughs> <laughs> they may use like Vor to help themselves or their partner achieve climax, or as a way to cuddle with them after spending time with them. <laughs> in I'll any case, SVPX predators are lovers with a voracious appetite. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, very sure. funny to be oh, coy God. when talking about stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, Dijon. Mm -hmm. S e a x the collector or S e a n the keeper. Oh well, I'm 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 looking for Mister Wright, so I need a keeper. Aww. <laughs> it's Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, I'm strong. Oh, <laughs> the keeper. The way to my heart is through my stomach. Oh. Sean predators like to keep their friends close. And what better way to do that than keeping them inside them? These predators love to spend quality time with the prey in their stomach. Often holding them for extended periods of time, even while they go about their day-to-day -day lives. I'm just picturing this is Ethan from Heavy Rain now. Oh no. <laughs> Picking All up right. an orange juice container with a little guy in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Last pair. Uh, Let's buy it then. Yeah. S E P X the romantic or S E P N the nurturer. Well, Step X was my favorite band in high school, so. <laughs> I'll do the romantic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, oh. you inside of me, but only if you want to. Mm. Romantics, lovers, seekers of passion, mm. sepex, predators, understand the intimate nature of war better than anyone. It is this <laughs> the sentence is why <laughs> it is a display of passion between two people who both want them same thing, an intimate closeness <laughs> like no other. Sepex predators. Mm, not way of soulmate. <laughs> Will you marinate me? <laughs> Yay! Uh, but instead offer them a chance to explore their bodies of their own free will. Once inside of them. <laughs> Very <laughs> literally. Yeah. Hop on in and take a look around. <laughs> There's your problem. You um, love Mike <laughs> Jones, me. Um, takes great sexual pleasure in both their own and their prey's arousal. They often choose to spit their prey, ugh, spit their prey out after they're done. What they don't even swallow? Nope. Well, no, they <laughs> swallow and then they spit them out. It's called soft core vor. Oh. Or at least find Burned. means to revive them as sepex predators. <laughs> or live you. Know, you. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, that is okay. Revive them as sepex predators. I'm strong connections with those they eat and wouldn't want them to be harmed. You're wait, like, oh, wait, this is, is also, funny. this is either how they show love or how they their kind? Listen, eating you Who did is this my to love you? language. 
Look, 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 I did it before mouth to mouth. Ah, oh, dang, I ate them again. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Shit. All right, all right. We uh, have, uh, we've, we've got another 10 minutes to go here. So we're not going to get through all of Prey Willing or Prey Unwilling. But uh, I will, so what I'm going to do is ask, uh, I'm going to ask all of you to choose one or the other, and then you'll choose one or the other of, from there. Uh, for example, <clears throat> Dijon. Yes. Are you a willing prey or an unwilling prey? Oh, I don't know. I'm. 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 Ex- I'm. I don't know if I'm quite willing yet. I'm. I'm a little new to it. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, if you take a look at your, you might find that you're you're leaning right into that type of <laughs> that that personality type. <laughs> but uh, you you sound like you're unwilling. Yeah, I, I think actually, I think I'm kind of, I'm kind of an Ivixu. Mm, you're an Ivixu. Okay. Yeah. All right. I V A X U, the evasive. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 what? Of course, I don't like it. Let me go. Ew. <laughs> you put up a fight at first, but now that you're in a gut, your heart begins to flutter in the most peculiar way. <laughs> oh no! Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my artery! <laughs> are you are you turned on? Why would you feel aroused at a time yeah. like this? The the Ivaxu I- experience some sexual excitement at the situation, mm-hmm. but refuse to admit it. Better to keep struggling than stop just because you're horny. Yeah, you know priorities. I live my life. <laughs> No thanks. Uh, Doctor A. Um, are, I would are say you I'm, willing or unwilling? I'm, I'm unwilling, unfortunately. You're willing. Are you a daydreamer or the patient? Uh oh. Um. Why well, I said unwilling, but okay, I guess I'm gonna be. Willing. Oh, you said <laughs> unwilling. I'm sorry. Uh, you're uh, willing uh, now. <laughs> okay, are you the squirmer or are you the remorseful? I'm the remorseful. <laughs> oh, okay. I E A N U. You can't do this to me. Oh no. I E A I E A Inu. I'm melancholy. Ianu. Ianu Reeves. I'm melancholy. Pray while they're willing. While they're willing in predator counting parts. Find purpose and meaning in the activity. The Anu find only regret for all the things they never accomplished. <gasps> no. I never wrote my book. <laughs> <laughs> they will fight to free themselves and complete their unfinished business. Their E trait is often the strongest weapon in their arsenal, convincing some E. And especially SE predators to let them go. Mm-hmm. Positronic. Yes. Willing or unwilling? I'll take willing. Oh my. Alright, uh, are you a thrill seeker or are you a snack? I think I'm a snack. <laughs> I think you're a snack too. I V A N W. All right. What are you waiting for? Open up so I can dive in. <laughs> You're not sure when it started, but you have a strange desire to be eaten. Perhaps it was the tight embrace of the throat, the low gurgles of a stomach, or imagining yourself hanging off the waist of some lucky predator. But you knew you were destined to be food. You seek out predators and try to actively get eaten by them, to the point that most of you... Mo- ah. To the point that most know you mostly as being a willing snack who's always up to being devoured. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, don't invite Positron to the party. They're, d- they're just going to spend the entire time trying to get eaten by yep. the other prey. I, I, yeah, I brought a meal to the potluck and it's me. Positronic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> positive stress. Uh-huh. Are you willing or unwilling? I mean, I, I'm here, aren't I? Oh! I volunteered for this. Let's go. Yeah, you are <laughs> willing. So, are you the flavorful or are you committed? Ooh, I'm the flavorful for sure. 
one way trip to Flavor Town. Just saying, everyone in the chat, wink. Does something around here smell delicious? <laughs> or is it just me? The SVAX W follows their SVN <laughs> counterpart. Shut up. <laughs> of having close relationships with their predators. However, with a kinky aspect added to the situation, this prey might desire to make themselves as attractive to potential predators as possible, whether that be dressing provocatively, covering themselves with confidence, no. <laughs> singing the Lion King, if you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever else that might make a potential predator see themselves as a delicious, pleasurable morsel. They actively pursue predators for a raunchy encounters or <laughs> ranchy encounters, experiencing <laughs> whatever works for you, experiencing the excitement of vor along with the compliments they get. Mm, mm, my compliments to the meal from those who eat them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, D -D 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 Dijon. No. Am I willing or unwilling? Shell. Shell, I, everything I know about you tells me that you are uh, way too willing to be here, to be honest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's me. Am I the pleaser or the fan? Well, I don't think any of us are very pleased right now. <laughs> So, okay, SVPN, W, the friend. Um, you can eat me if you want to. I don't mind. <laughs> now, while not actively looking to be food, SVPN, W, prey will likely get to know several predators in the hopes that one of them will eventually decide to eat them, uh. rather than try their luck with strangers. <laughs> oh, God, prey be shopping. Oh. <laughs> real real. Really eat me ass ho. I tried the bar scene. It's just it's not for me. <laughs> you got a friend in you. <laughs> uh, if this prey gets uh, gets to be food to a friend, then they are satisfied. But often they struggle with getting the courage to make their truth about being eaten clear to the point where their predator friends might just assume they're not interested. So, so this is the whaling ship Essex friend. <laughs> 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 All right. Um lastly, uh uh Lesbiathan. Hi. Are you willing or unwilling? I'm I mean unwilling. <laughs> Yo, okay. Do you have to ask. All right, right you're not willing. Uh I'm surprised. Okay, so are you um of are you the voyeur or the feeder? <laughs> Oh. None of them, but I guess the feeder. These are just their own fetishes. <laughs> you guess the feeder. Okay. All right. Well, you are S V U, the feeder. All right. Ha ha. Here's another prey. Just don't eat me. All right. Ha ha ha. <laughs> 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 it's so, so crazy if you like kiss in front of the. In front of the war <laughs> station. <laughs> uh, unless. Um. <laughs> Okay, the typical Svan Yu prey has predator friends that hang they hang around. They skirt the border between eating through socializing with predators and convincing them that there's a better companion than a meal. Oh, they often end up as feeders or find prey for predators to avoid ending up as prey themselves. But Can they you are really be a feeder if what you're doing is feeding them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. but they are they are constantly aware. But the next stomach they hear growl could be for them. <laughs> dire. <laughs> Fucking dire. Uh, they uh, are often active struggle. <laughs> they are often act active strugglers with when their time finally comes to be devoured. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. That's part of the fun for them. No, bad. All right. Well, extra credit hour. We're but we're just about wrapping up here. Uh, I do want to spend. I do want to spend a quick minute. Uh, bringing up the, the, uh, a different incentive here. Uh, the Lesbiathan, who will be uh, reading the first of three geek no. sonnets, no. Yeah, sonnets no. Uh, no. at the, mini, no, at the no. beginning of next hour, uh, also has a little incentive. Uh, she will, uh, if you donate $5, uh, yeah. the Lesbiathan will send you a Digimon card uh, picked for yeah. you 
based on her feelings towards you. Yeah, I don't want to know anything Ooh. about you. I just want to know your username, and I will vibe check you. Uh, there is a maximum of five there, so yeah. uh, I'm just going to leave those up. Uh, the, you probably won't see the picture when we go to break, but you will still be able to see the incentive in the donation section. Yeah. So, thanks everybody. We'll be back next hour. Uh, Positronic is leaving the reader's booth, but yeah. she's going to come back drawing! Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. uh, I believe Chai Tea Latte is coming in, and we're going to talk about some nerd thighs! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>